Well, it's episode 15 of Shadow of the Colossus. This is the 15th Colossus. Um, and again, similar to our previous Colossus, this one is also guarding a city of sorts. Uh, though I think that's more of an... I think it's a city more in an abstract way than yeah. than as like straightforward yeah. as the previous one. Um, Though we're really close to the end. I mean, it's this one, and then one more, and that's it. That'll be the game. This one, we're going to be heading south, I believe. Yeah. No, I... I sometimes like this next Colossus, and sometimes I don't. It's, I don't know, my mood kind of shifts between it. Uh, where you uh, do battle with it is actually rather interesting, and the uh, overall design of the arena is really cool. Um, the fight itself is... It's, it's not exactly the most unique fight in the game, I don't think. Uh, I wouldn't say that anyways. Um, but it's certainly not boring. Uh, it's, it's just, it's kind of a... A final culmination of uh, of ideas that have been sort of featured in previous fights, and uh, this one kind of combines several of those ideas and into into one uh, continuous uh, experience. It's it's pretty cool, I guess. It 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 has its moments. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to bring aggro into this one. I, I, I believe aggro is essentially done in terms of being helpful for uh, Colossus fights. Uh, she, you know, she helped us out with, uh, what, Phalanx uh, and Bossaron. Um, and that was about it. Oh, and Dirge, of course. Uh, those are her big three moments where, you know, she is by far the most useful. Um, but... This this fight, she is not very useful. In fact, she will not be utilized at all. And actually, that's one thing I have not done in this playthrough, and I don't think I... Well, I may in the next episode. You can actually cross, make it across that land bridge. Um... That is a thing you can actually do. There's no real reason to, honestly. Like it, it, it serves very little purpose, but you can totally do that if you if you choose. But here we are. Here is our destination. Uh, you may remember this from, uh, I believe, the Pelagia episode, because I sat around and attempted multiple times to get in here. Um, and with the hopes that, oh, I think this is the right way, which, in fact, it was not. Um, but this is the, uh, the fortification of the city that our next Colossus hangs out in. I'm pretty sure... I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure... I have to go up here. There is that hole. But I'm not sure how to get up there. Let me see. Let me oh, I need to be in the sunlight, though. So hey, at the very least, my health and stamina are looking pretty good. Um, so that's nice. That's always a that's always a good thing. I'm still not in sunlight though. 
right over here should be good. I'm positive this is where I'm going. Oh yeah. But the question is how? Oh hey, a white-tailed lizard. Cool. Go ahead and grab that real quick. I guess I could just walk in through the front, duh. Here I am trying to be clever. It's like a city and it's more like a castle, I, I would argue. Um, I don't know, I think Dorman's description is a little vague. Here we have these large columns and platforms on top of the columns. This is a really, this is actually a really cool spot in the game, I think. Um, visually, it's probably one of the more arresting areas of the Forbidden Land. Just, just the sheer scope of it. going to be of little consequence in this in this upcoming fight. Just look at this place though, it's massive. So here is the 15th Colossus. This is uh, known as Argus by fans. Uh, the developers refer to it as Minotaur C. So this is the third and final variant of the Minotaur Colossus the developers have put throughout this game. Um, and similar to Valus and Barba, um, you know, it walks upright. Um, it has hooves on the ends of its legs. Um, and like Valus, it has a weapon. Uh, this time it looks like it has an actual, I guess, sword um, to utilize. And this one is actively uh, chasing after you, which is, which is neat. And also you notice its body does not have any fur that you can see, except near its head, near the top of its face. So there's no easy way to climb on top of him. So what you have to do is you have to find your way up, up, up. To try to find a, a clever way of getting to him. And this is not a very clever way. This is in fact a very bad way. seeing anything sticks out or makes me think oh I know why because I need to go through here I believe also too as you can see he is rather fast uh, he he uh, he can can certainly get after you fairly quickly with little trouble. Also, I love the detail on on his armor. Um, you know, he's got like the uh, 
He's got the armor on his uh, knuckles. Looks like um, looks like if he punched you, that would definitely hurt a lot. Come on. There we go. That's what I want to see. So yeah, so this is sort of the first uh, first phase of the fight is just finding a way to get up. That's that's the goal here is to get up, get higher than Argus. Hmm. This doesn't look like it'll do me any good either, actually. That over there might, though. Oh, ow. the right direction. What the heck, Argus? Come on. Let's try that again, but maybe this time be a little more accurate with where you're stepping, bucko. This should do it. There we go. Surely this is the way that I can go. I think it is. Again, no, it isn't. Whoa. Hmm. See, arrows aren't exactly very useful. Um, they're good for getting his attention, and that's about it. Truth is, though, you can actually damage him that way. There we go. Arrows can hurt him, but not by much. Ah. There we go. Alright. Getting closer to where I need to be. to do that. Come on. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to be 
on that. So yeah, he gets very upset when he realizes what you're doing. This is this is what I like about this Colossus to a certain extent, is that this one seems to have a modicum of intelligence. It's it's not just mindlessly walking around, it is kind of paying attention to what you're doing. And it and it kind of gets what you're doing. It recognizes, oh, it's try oh, Wander's trying to get into a higher spot. Well. Let's put an end to that. Come on. So the obvious goal here is to get him to come just close enough where I can do that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Argus does not like you being on him. I don't think any of them do, but he especially does not like this. Don't worry, though. This fight gets a little more complicated as it goes. Where in the hell? <laughs> Where in the hell is this last sigil? spot. I, I think this is rather cool. So you see that weak point on his arm, on his uh, elbow in fact. I'm heading to that if I can get to it. I tried to. Almost there. He knows I'm still hanging, but... There we go. So now he's dropped, he's dropped his weapon. He's very, very, very upset now. All right, so. Let's see. I feel like I have to do this again, but I could be wrong. Move, Wonder. Like move now. I do anything else. Ooh, if I don't fall off first, I would rather not fall off. This is very time consuming to get back on top of him. okay because I oh no that's not so great though 
just need one good solid hit. That's it. Definitely a cool fight. I, I like I rather like Argus. I think he's I think he's really cool. But that's the end of the episode, so next episode is is it. Is the end. Last Colossus, last bit of cutscenes, last bit of game, really. So hopefully you've enjoyed it up to this point, and uh, I hope you'll join me for what is to be the last episode of Shadow of the Colossus. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.